Hello, I'm Dr. Darnita L. Payton of Dr. Declutter Life Management, where an organized and functional life is our goal. We don't judge, we help. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel today. I am so grateful that you are here. Before you leave, please do me a favor. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and do me one more favor. Tell at least five people you know about my channel. I will greatly appreciate it. So, Today we are going to continue the series that I started, The Simple Life. Five simple ways to save money, five simple ways to save time, five simple ways to reduce stress, five simple ways to increase productivity. In the first video, we talked about five simple ways to save money. So if you've not seen that, please go back and take a look at it. I would greatly appreciate it. But today, we're going to continue the series five uh, the simple life and please let me know if you would like to see more of these types of series on my channel i would greatly appreciate it yes i say i would greatly appreciate that a lot because it's true you don't have to take time out of your busy day to stop by my channel to look at my videos so i am especially grateful so i mean that when i say that all right today we're going to talk about five simple ways to save time what I love about time, it, it's the great equalizer. We all get 24 hours a day, and it's how we manage it that matters. So, let's jump right in. Always prepare the night before. I'm going to let that sink in. Because I believe that preparation is key. And for me, I am a super early morning person. It is nothing for God to wake me up at 3 o'clock in the morning because I know he has the greatest sense of humor. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. But I know that I like to have my mornings run a certain way because I believe that mornings set the tone for my day. And so if I, you know, once I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and feeling rushed, then the tone of my day is likely going to feel rushed. I don't like that. I like after I wake up to pray, to spend time with God, reading my Bible, uh, thinking about the things that I have to do, you know, running over it either mentally or viewing my um, to-do list, which we will talk about. And again, that helps me to set the tone for my day. But an important step that happened the night before is I prepared for my morning. So that may be something as simple as laying out your clothes for the next morning making sure if you have to leave the house, you know where your keys and your wallet are. Uh, if there are meals that have to be prepared, that you've done some meal planning or you've made sure that you have gas in your car or anything that you need to do the next day, you've prepared the night before. That will definitely help you save time. Avoid procrastination. Now I know that can be an entire series in itself, but avoiding procrastination, which in its simplest form, now procrastination can be very complex, but in its simplest form means that that's when you delay making a decision or you, de you uh, delay completing a task or even starting that task. That's procrastination in its simplest form. Again, I know that it can be very complex. But avoiding procrastination is a great way to save time because procrastination is the thief of time. Because you're putting off or putting into uh, avoiding something, that's wasted time. So here's a very simple way that you can avoid procrastination. Time those things that you are avoiding because many of us avoid things because we think it's going to take too long or it's going to be too complicated. But in the taking too long category, one simple thing you can do is to time it. You see this bookshelf behind me now. Oh, and somebody asked me, this was not set up for YouTube. This is my actual <laughs> bookcase with real life stuff on it. So yeah, that that's real. That, that's not a, a YouTube prop. That's an actual bookcase. But this bookcase gets dusty and I uh, hate dust and I hate dusting. But I know that this takes less than three minutes to dust the entire thing. And that includes taking everything off of it and putting it back. 
So if you see any dust bunnies or likely dust elephants, <laughs> it's because it's time for it to be dusted. But I know that it will only take three minutes, so I won't avoid it. Now, for things that are more complex, you can break those things down into, you know, smaller chunks and smaller tasks and time those as well. And then you will have proof that the thing that you've been avoiding really didn't take as long as you thought that it would take. And then you can, you know, be further along in avoiding procrastination because you are setting a timer and setting yourself up for success. Make a list. I am big on lists. Lists are going to be a part of this series because they work. If you have an idea of what your day is looking like, then you can prepare for that. So, and let me tell you, there is something so very satisfying. One of one of my greatest pleasures in life is a good list. I love seeing my to-do list become it's done. It's a done list. There's something so satisfying about that. So make a list so that you can save time. If you make a list, you can clearly see what tasks are before you that day so that you're just not running around all willy-nilly and confused, not knowing what it is that you need to get accomplished that day. You can see clearly uh, what tasks you have before you. You are timing them so you know how much time they're going to take and you can plan your day that way. So make a list. And I want you to know that in making your list, it does not have to be super rigid. You don't have to account for the time you wake up until the time you go to bed. But if you like to do that, awesome. I encourage you to do that. It can be that you chunk your day. So for a period of time, you're going to do this or these things on your list. From 9 to 11, I'll check emails. Um, from 11 to 2, I'll get some cleaning done or return phone calls or whatever it is that you need to do so that you are telling um, your time that God is giving you what you want to accomplish in that time and your time isn't telling you that you're out of it. <laughs> so make a list. You will be your most productive um, if you do that. And you'll be less likely to waste time because you know already what you need to do within a certain time frame within your day. Learn to say no. Saying no is so hard for some people, but I promise you it's one word and it's a complete sentence. If you already know because you've made your list and you plan for your day that your day is already full, this one, number five, will help you immensely. Now, I don't mean saying no to everything because you don't want to be helpful. I'm a servant. I have a servant's heart. I love to help people. But I know that if my list says that I have 12 hours worth of tasks that I need to accomplish that day, and the thing that you need me to help you with takes an additional four hours, well, that's 16 hours out of the day that I may not be able to say yes to because it would put me behind. Perhaps I could say, I will help you later. That's no delayed. Or I could just say, you know, say, sadly, I wish I could help you, but I can't. So, no. You know, it's, again, I'm not telling you not to be helpful. I encourage you to be helpful. It feels good when you're helpful. But if you're really unable to help someone because of time constraints, because your list is full and you really need to get those things done, it's okay to say no. I have an entire training called Master the Art of Saying No, where I teach people how to say that one simple word, the one complete sentence, no, period. So there you have it. Again, as I said before, in the last video, none of this is super complicated. It's not rocket science. You don't have to be a member of Mensa to understand it and these are really easy and simple ways that you can implement right after you stop watching this video today you can implement these today so I hope that this video was helpful uh, again please give it a thumbs up comment like and subscribe and tell at least five people you know about it I will greatly appreciate it so in next week's uh, video in the series the simple life we're going to talk about five simple ways to reduce stress. 
I'm so excited about that one. So if no one has told you today how awesome you are, I want you to know that you are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye.